Hi everyone, I'm Samira Guccioni. I'm a scientist from Science from Scientists at the California office. And I'm here with our little scientist, Omid. Uh, we're going to talk about um, Omid's experience with COVID and ask questions about how he's coping with the um, school closures. So um, Omid, how about if you introduce yourself? My name is Omid. I am seven year old. Um, I'm in second grade. Okay, and where are you calling from? California, Palo Alto. Okay, excellent. So you're in Palo Alto. So I'm wondering, normally at this time, you're in school, but the schools are closed. Do you know why the schools are closed? Yes, the, because of the coronavirus. The coronavirus is dangerous. It can kill other people. Mm -hmm. And that's why the schools are closed and everybody is staying home, right? Yeah. Yeah. And how do you, how do you think that people can get coronavirus? Mm, well, by um, getting close to other people or kissing other people or, and yeah. Yeah, so being close with people who may be sick, uh -huh. that's what can be a problem. That's no, we know for sure who has it. We don't know who for sure has it or who doesn't have it, right? Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes when you are sick, you know that you are sick and you stay home so that you can feel better and you don't, you don't go to school because you don't want to make other people sick in your class or outside your friends who play in the playground, you don't wanna get them sick, so you stay home until you feel better. But with COVID-19, sometimes people have no symptoms. They don't know that they're sick, but they are carrying this, this virus and they could be giving it to someone else without even knowing that they're sick, right? This yeah. is why they close the school because if some people have it, or have caught it and they're not sick yet. They don't have any symptoms. They don't have uh, any signs that they know they're sick. They can go to school and then they can make other kids sick. And then those kids can go home and make their parents sick or their grandparents or their brothers and sisters. So it's safer for everybody to just stay home until we can find a solution to how to deal with the virus, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are the things that you do to help yourself uh, so that you don't get, um, you stay healthy and you don't get the coronavirus? What do you do? Uh, well, stay in the house mostly. Uh, don't get close to other people. Mm -hmm. Only go out when you need to and sleep well yes sleeping well that's very good i'm really glad you said that omid uh sleeping well is really important because when you sleep well and you sleep enough your body is healthy and strong and it can fight any kind of diseases that comes its way really well the best possible way so sleeping well is really important do you also try to wash your hands before you eat food yes yeah, so washing your hands before you eat anything is really, really important in staying healthy. In fact, if you do that before lunch or before you snack, even when you're at school, when we all go back to school, it'll help you from other viruses, cold viruses, flu viruses, anything that will get you sick. If you wash your hands before you eat anything or drink anything, it really helps a lot to stay healthy. Do you also remind other people to wash their hands in your household? Maybe they come in there, coming in from playing outside and they are really hungry. They want to rush to get something and, and eat it. And then you say, oh, I'm sorry. I think you forgot to wash your hands. That maybe you should go wash your hands before you eat, right? Well, not really, because most people really remember. 
they, if they do remember, well, I'm really glad that people in your family remember to wash their hands. The other thing is you don't want to touch your mm -hmm. face, touch your nose, touch your eyes, touch your mouth. Your hands. Yes, if you have, you're outside and you touch something like um, our, your mailbox, you don't want to touch your face. Yes, exactly. Well, I think you have some really good ideas to share with all of our friends and scientists around the country that get a chance to check um, our interview with you today. I really wanted to thank you for spending some time with us today. So okay. thank you so much, Omid. Bye.